So I'm at the Hamburg airport right now and I'm just uh, you know, waiting for the plane. And I, uh, I remembered why I don't do these vlogs. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was taking a look at one of the old videos that I had made and I posted on YouTube it's about seven years ago now. And, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm going to start at a vlog, so I'm going to start vlogging with these people that I watch, blah, blah, blah. And then eventually, I never ended up doing it, because it was just stolen from me. And I bring it up, because when I was watching this YouTube video, I'm watching it, and it's running ads. I don't get paid for those ads. That, that channel is not monetized, but when I'm watching this video, it's, it's running ads and somebody's making money off of it and that's just infuriating to me and this is what I mean where I talk about you know stuff like my intellectual property just being stolen people just think they're entitled to do it or I guess these big tech companies think they're entitled to do it well that's the issue I have and it's, it's not so much you know people in the public but people in the public just think this is just normal no it's, it's not I was just watching a video too about how uh, how much money people made off of uh, YouTube. I'm like, that's how much money I've been screwed out of. And then so, you know, because you know, I'm, I'm basically broadcast 24 hours a day. Uh, so, I mean, people who watch this stuff and appreciate this stuff, I mean, I mean get on these companies and get them to pay me because I mean, I, I, I can't even do this stuff without this, you know, money to spend on. It's just cash on hand to spend on. And anyway, um, yeah, so I'm at the Hamburg airport, and, you know, and if there are people that are actually fans here, I mean, yeah, I'm here for a while, you know, feel free to say hi. <laughs> it, it's nuts when people just make, like, references and stuff instead of actually just saying hi. Oh, and, you know, please feel free to help out with, you know, cash or whatever. You know, you know the situation. It's, it's all there on the internet. Um, but other than that, you know, it, it, it's just this internet stuff has been completely fucking crazy for the last nine years. Where, you know, it, it, it's been the opposite of what you would think that, you know, celebrity would get you. Like, you don't get paid, like I was mentioning. You get your stuff stolen. You get your IP stolen. You make less money because, you know, like, for example, companies then don't hire you. Um, well, I guess uh, I still manage to get around that a little bit, but, you know, there's no cash on hand, so what, what good is that? And instead of my friends seeing me making more friends, I don't make more friends. I, I, I even emailed one of my friends, you know, hey, I'm emailing you. I haven't talked to you in a long time because uh, I haven't made any friends in the last nine years. Or not any meaningful ones, not the ones I speak to on a regular basis, I mean, like, It'll be a very superficial, oh, hey, how are you, or, you know, I'll see them maybe once or twice, and that's it. Maybe talk to them once or twice, and that's it. And there's plenty of those, but any actual real friends? No. It's it, it's weird. And then instead of people actually, you know, um, talking to you, or, uh, it, it's just, you know, like what I mean with the public, like, you know, how uh, people like celebrities have fans. Yeah, fans usually say hi, and like, you know, like, they're, they're happy to see these people, and they talk to them, that sort of thing. These people, they just act like nuts. They, they make references, they do crazy stuff. Anything except actually talking to you, actually interacting with you. Even though, you know, I'm pretty sure that everybody on Earth knows about this stuff at this point. Uh, but it, it's just crazy to me. But... I was just, you know, uh, waiting for the plane now, so I thought I'd make a video, and I had actually looked, because uh, I was, I mentioned I was watching this video I made about seven years ago now, and the, I, one of the things that I mentioned in the video were these people, these, these vloggers who, you know, put stuff regularly, and I hadn't watched one of them in a long time. I didn't realize that they were still making videos. I thought they quit or something. Um, so I, one of the one of the reasons why I stopped watching them, I also stopped watching them because um, initially it was just like this family who had a bunch of cute like toddlers, 
like two year olds, three years old, three year olds, and they're not two or three years old anymore. So <laughs> they're not cute babies anymore to watch. But um, they, it turns out, they still actually make videos. And what was it? it I'm, I'm talking about the, the tards, the shade tards. Um, and then the aunt of the shade tards, I think, is Hey Kaylee. And I was watching one of her videos, and the she was talking about losing weight and i didn't realize and and this is what i was going to make a video about you know how to lose weight easy because for me it's been incredibly easy for these people they they get so emotional about it like i was like i was listening to her talking and i didn't realize these, these i guess it's women mostly because i guess it i mean i guess in a sense you know there's less pressure to the or not, i don't know what what you call it um, expectations, I guess, about um, your your body or whatever, your weight, when you're a man than if you're a woman, which, you know, I, I assume is true. Maybe not in America, where everybody's, you know, you'd assume not in America, I mean, where everybody's just fat as hell. But I'll get to that in a, that, that's another point to be made, too, in this video. But the, she was talking about it, and she Oh my God! You know, it sounded like they, they get so emotional about it. Then she talks about eating this. I think she mentioned eating this one. These, I mean, they they get really emotional just about eating. And for me, like eating is not even a thought. Um, and this is why I was going to make this video about you know how to lose weight very easily, because there's like a there's a little trick to it, but. You know, and I'm not in the greatest shape on earth, but you know, I did just drop about 70 pounds, almost 70 pounds, and there, I, I can explain a couple reasons for it. And it, it, no, it's not like you know a bad health condition related or anything, but you know, to me it was just surprising. Like I, I think I see, I saw her like tearing up too, and she was talking about triggers and whatnot. Like, what are you talking about? And, uh, I guess for me. It, my perspective is like you know it's not something i even think about but for these people they 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 have so much emotionally invested in their weight it's like, oh okay well you know maybe i should put up a video like i even left her a comment saying you know hey i'm gonna make a video about how, how i lost weight really easy and i think it'll help um which is why i'm making this video now because you know i don't get paid for it right but I guess it's, it's a way to kind of like uh, communicate with them too, right? Where, you know, I watch these people, and, or I used to watch them. I don't watch it so much anymore, or at all, actually. But, oh, yeah, but that's, uh, you know, it's, I see you're tearing up about it. Oh, okay, maybe I should, you know, try to help out. But, sorry, the, uh, the announcements are going on. But, anyway, well... First of all, I'm not a doctor, so you know, even if I put that in my damn emails, I, I very much well know I'm not a doctor, and this is not health advice. And you know, for your specific situation, you, you probably should cons you know consult a doctor, which will probably refute what I say. But you know, you know, I, that's just a disclaimer. I don't want to get in trouble putting you into any you know health conditions, or even better, you know, some of these emotional things they get into. But it's, uh, it's just my opinion and what's worked for me. And yeah, so essentially I thought, you know, I'd, I'd explain how, you know, I lost weight very easily, like effortlessly. I would use the word effortlessly because I put no, I, I don't even put thought into it. I, I don't, you know, put any large amount of effort into it. But, and in fact, you know, I was eating a bunch of greasy double bacon cheeseburgers, you know, doing it. So this is how I lost about 70 pounds. And, you know, first first things first, the disclaimer, you know, you know, take this with a grain of salt. Take, you know, uh, talk to your doctor before you engage in any weight loss plan, that sort of thing. But for me, and I had ballooned in weight and it was partially because of these stupid medications these people were doing, you know, with my food. And I was just passed out all the time. I wasn't exerting myself. I wasn't, you know, I was just sleeping and eating, basically. And they should not have done that. I think the medications themselves also contributed to weight gain. I think it causes you to gain weight as well. I know 
you know, I see a lot of these people who are on these psychiatric medications, and a lot of them are fed. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a reason why, aside from the reduced amount of physical activity. And, you know, that's what I was going to mention. Um, well, first of all, I was up to 200, almost 80 pounds. So I've dropped about, almost, about se roughly about 70 pounds at this point. Sorry, the announcement was going off. But, when you, well, first of all, when you get to that much weight, there, I mean, if you're, what I mean is if somebody's watching this and they're morbidly, not morbidly, but severely obese, I mean, you probably should go talk to a doctor because there's some underlying health condition going on. Even if it's, um, usually it'll be like an endocrine disorder. Like, you know, sometimes it just might be something slow, something, um, or you're, you're well, because if that's not happening, it's just horrible eating habits and usually it'll be like the processed food full of corn syrup in the U.S. and I mention that because um, you know you should the trick behind all this stuff is tricking your hormones into making your body lose weight. Letzter Aufruf für alle Passagiere des Lufthansa Fluges LH2077 nach München and people usually say something like they'll say something like you, you need to burn more calories than you you ingested which is just completely wrong it's you know it's probably the dumbest misconception there is out there because you can burn 5,000 calories, 10,000 calories in a day doing huge exertive workouts and it'll create your hormones to, to spike up and uh, the, the ones that make you gain weight and you're not going to be losing weight doing it. But not to this extent, you know, especially if you're like severely overweight and you have a ton of weight to lose. And the, the other thing to it too is that when you have a lot of weight to lose, it's easier to lose weight. And what I mean by that is that if I'm 270 pounds or 280 pounds and I drop down to 210, that's pretty easy. But going from 210 to about 190, that last little bit of, you know, fat, that's a very difficult thing to do. It just gets more difficult as the less there is. Um, but to get, you know, to easily lose that, you know, huge excess weight, all you have to do is trick your body into not being hungry. And again, this is part of the hormones. This is part of what you eat. Um, there's this thing called like the glycemic index. I, I don't know too much about it, but I think this is you know the science based on what what I do. The basically it's how much you know the foods you eat spike the glucose level in your blood because the the more sugars you eat, the hungrier you will be, and when your body is burning fat you know, you will not be hungry. So if you are eating fats, like butters or oil or something greasy, like, like what I was talking about, those like um, double bacon cheeseburgers, extremely greasy, but you won't be hungry. Um, but if you eat like the fries, actually I did eat fries with it and it didn't make me too hungry, but for other people it might. The greasy fries too, because you're eating carbs, the carbs will make you hungry. So the, the, the trick to what you need to do is, first of all, try to get rid of the carbs and sugars as much as you can, because it'll make you hungry. And if you eat the fats, for example, if you do get hungry, 
you should just eat something extremely fatty. I know it's counterintuitive because they bullshitted you into thinking fats are bad for you, but they're not. And then there are different kinds of fats too. You should look into it. You know, there are good ones and bad ones. And you should probably drink, eat more of the good ones than, than not. But for me, like, for example, I had, I, I didn't really have much choice in food. So, you know, I couldn't really go out and I didn't have any money. So I couldn't really go out and buy in, you know, any of these good fat things, which are sometimes expensive. But if you just, even if it's just the bad fats, you're tricking your body into not being hungry. And if you, because it gives you a feeling of satiation, so you won't be hungry anymore. So, and this is what I meant, where it's just effortless. Since you're not hungry, you don't feel like you're dieting. Like, um, if you're not hungry, you're not ingesting more calories. And like I had mentioned, there's this key part to it where you need to get used to it. Like, I've gotten pretty in tune with my body, so I can tell. But you need to get used to it such that you can tell if you're hungry because you have a lot of carbs in your in your body because your body will burn carbs burn sugars in your body stored in your you know your muscles your glycogen you know in your, in your blood whatever they'll burn that before the fats predominantly burn that before the fats i mean it'll still burn some fats but still but the point is if you manage to trick your body to you know not just deplete all the sugars but you also eventually trick your body into burning the fats too like my body just got used to burning fats all the time so i do eat more carbs now than i used to but i think if you're just starting this out you have to take it a little bit more drastically and but that's the trick you it's it is effortless like if you're hungry you can even grab some greasy bacon and then eat it. You won't be hungry. You won't be eating a ton of calories. But if you eat like a bowl of pasta, you're going to keep eating bowls of pasta. So that's the trick to it. And eventually over time, you will drop like, you know, like me, like 70 pounds. And the other trick that I would use was that, again, it's that whole concept where your body is hungry because it's craving carbohydrates. And you know, you have too much carbohydrates in your system, I mean. So, and it, it just wants more. It, it's, it's like this weird cycle where if you, you know, if you have carbs, it'll just want more carbs and more carbs. So that's why you eat fats. But, you know, and like I was mentioning the video I was watching, she was talking about like macros and whatnot. And like that, that's way too much effort. This is, um, this is what I meant Or, you know, I don't even think about this. Like uh, I just dropped like 70 pounds and I wasn't even hungry at the time. And you can even see me going for days not eating food. And it actually, be, this is why it becomes easier too because as your body gets used to burning fat, and I, I don't recommend that, I'm not recommending that but it was just something that I was doing because of the stupid problem with the uh, stupid psychiatric medications that I didn't need, or the wrong ones for me were being put in my food. But, you know, you're not even hungry in that you can do this for days where you won't even be, uh, you know, wanting to eat. So this is what I mean, where it's completely effortless. And I guess cheap too, technically. I mean, you're not buying any, you know, cases of diet this or what that, like Slim Fast. I don't, I don't know what that is, but that, or what what else there are. I mean, I, I've seen like some fad stuff where you have to buy expenses. So, no. And you know, I don't know what she used to. I don't even know what macros are. I think they're, they're like certain food groups or whatever that you eat together, or whatnot. But the whole point is that you know you don't even have to think about that. It's just one very simple trick trick your body into not being hungry and there for, for me there were two ways of doing it one was even if you don't want to completely cut out carbs you can still eat them but to make yourself satiated satiated you know eat some oil eat some fats eat some butter eat some bacon then your appetite will be gone 
and that you will feel completely satiated. And then the other thing that I would do is what I was saying where, you know, if there's too much sugar in your body, if your glucose is too high, you're going to be hungry. It's going to want, it's going to make you want to eat more versus if your body is burning fat. So I would go if, if I needed to, or well, actually I never did that, but I, it's just something I did anyway. But if that's the case for you, I mean, go and take a walk. Walk until you're not hungry anymore. I don't know, it might be a mile, it might be two miles, it might be 15 minutes, it might be 30 minutes, who knows. It, it, you'll have to listen to your body. But the point is, the, the body then starts burning fat. And the reason why I say specifically walk, don't run. Because if you run, you're going to increase those hormones that you know make you hungry, that make you gain weight, that sort of thing. With this sort of thing, you have to do it low and slow. You can't do any high intensity anything. You, this is what I mean about it being effortless too, by the way. Is because you know you're not doing some huge crazy workout. You're not running for miles. You know, you walk, you move around, do something. You know, even if it's like cleaning up the house or something for a little bit. You know, you're going to be. It won't be raising your heart rate too much. You'll just be burning some, you know, and then eventually you'll get to the point where you burn all the sugars that are making you hungry. And then you get to the point where your body's gonna be burning fat and you won't be hungry anymore. But if you don't wanna, again, it might not be the healthiest thing to do. So if, if, you, if you're still insisting on eating, well, you can, you know, eat some fats, like I said. But those are the two things. It, it's that simple to do. When you're hungry, and again, you have to keep in mind that you also do have to eat for nutrition. There is nothing that I eat that I don't eat for a specific reason, for the nutrients in it, for the minerals, for the vitamins, or for whatever specific, I guess, macronutrients like uh, Kaylee was talking about. And, you know, for example, even if I'm eating gummy bears, it's, it's not because I'm eating junk food candy, it's because I'm eating it for the gelatin in it because it helps my tendons that those stupid psychiatric medications, you know, destroy. So, um, there is nothing, nothing that I eat that doesn't, you know, have a reason for it. But, you know, so you should definitely eat for a purpose. Whatever you're eating, even if it is, you know, like gummy bears, you need to eat it for a purpose. But, to lose the weight, you're gonna need to, tr it, do that very simple thing. Just trick your body into not being hungry. This is what I mean where this is completely effortless. Like I could do this for days. I could go for days without being hungry because the body was just burning fat. Or of course it's gonna burn some muscle too, but you know, predominantly it's burning fat. And this is why I decided to make this video is because you know, I'm seeing Kaylee crying and like, getting all emotional about losing weight and talking about triggers and like what are you talking about this is the easiest thing on earth to do and you know i've, I've done this before too I've, I've dropped you know tons of weight like this before and it's not good that i gained the weight because that, that's another thing to keep in mind when you do eat because even if you've lost weight um i i, I don't know the exact science behind it but, you know, the very simple part of it is the fat cells still remain. So they just shrunk. They just, you know, got rid of some of the fat in them. But now it's even easier to gain the weight back than it was to gain it initially. So that is a, um, that's a thing to keep in mind. But, you know, so if I haven't been mindful of this stuff, like when I was having issues with the medication, just eating and sleeping, you know, not paying attention to what I'm doing, couldn't pay attention to what I'm doing, I mean, that's why I gained weight. But, you know, it's still very easy to gain it, you know, given some time. Um, and I was mentioning, you know, people in America being fat. Well, there's kind of a reason for that. This is back to what I was saying about the hormones, wherein the food supply in America is very bad. First of all, everything has fucking corn syrup in it. So, not sugar, not real sugar. They have corn syrup in it. And this is why I think, you know, this is part of the reason why, like, you know, when I go to Europe, I lose weight. 
I mean, because it's a completely different, you know, kind of food and the stuff that they allow in the food. And um, the the sugar versus corn syrup is a huge thing. Don't eat corn syrup. It, that's what I mean about the glycemic index stuff, because it'll just make you hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. That, that's what that glycemic index is. They talk about it with being blood sugar or not, but I'm mentioning it in the context of saying that, you know, if you have a high glycemic index, your blood sugar does go up, but that's what makes you hungrier. And the lower your blood sugar, the less hungry you'll be. So that's why, again, eat some fats instead. But back to what I was saying, though, where, you know, people in America are extremely fat because everything has corn syrup. I mean, even like pasta sauces have corn syrup in it instead of sugar. Um, the other thing too is, I think it's like the sort of hormone. This is what I meant about hormones too. Like the hormones in the food, like especially the meats in America, like chicken especially, you know, I, you know, they're injected with certain hormones. They're injected with certain things to make them go faster, which makes people fatter too. Like if you take a look at the chicken in, for example, like in Ireland, not only is it like a different breed, I think, but you know, it, it's like a different consistency. It's, it looks different, you know, and I'm pretty sure they don't allow them to inject the things that they inject the food with. They inject the animals, the livestock in the U.S. with in, in Europe. Like it's just not allowed in the EU. And this is what I mean about the hormones too. You need to trick the hormones because the hormones are what create what makes you fat or makes you retain fat or lose fat. And you know, the food you're eating has that stuff in it that are gonna affect you. Well, of course that's why. And this is why, you know, I, I mentioned to somebody, you know, go eat at Whole Foods. Well, it's true. I, I know that's a difficult thing to do because it's uh, extremely expensive. But the and I was able to do this, like I said, you know, I, I didn't even have money to go out to buy food. It was only the food that was available, like literally a fast food place that was available at the hotel I was staying in. And yeah, you apply the same principles to what you got there. And it's not the healthiest thing, but I still managed to lose, you know, like 70 pounds eating basically, you know, greasy double cheeseburgers. Oh, and like fried chicken too, like fried chicken strips, that sort of thing. But the the point is you need to just trick yourself into not being hungry like there's none of this emotional stuff kaylee was tearing up about like oh no i didn't eat well, you're not gonna want to eat if you do it this way you're just tricking yourself into not being hungry so like to me i was just kind of laughing at her like talking about eating and like eating disorders and like triggers like, no this is the easiest thing on earth to do um you don't even have to exercise oh and that's another thing too that's a misnomer like they talk about diet and exercise in the context of calories taken in versus calories expended. no absolutely not that's wrong and again it's down to the hormones too because not only do you not do like high intensity exertion like um like if you're running miles a day like yeah for some people you know that might keep their weight down but you're not going to be able to do that if you're like 80 pounds overweight number one number two it's not going to be the fastest way to lose the weight and most effortless way to lose the weight you know in fact you probably quit doing it you know pretty quickly but the eating properly in the sense of you know make it so that you're not hungry eat things that make you not hungry and then aside from that it was the trick the hormones and part of that is aside from avoiding the high intensity is that you do have to get a good amount of sleep you know the more you sleep actually the more you're going to lose weight because the less your body is exerting itself the less it's you know going to want to be eating more the less it's going to be wanting to you know put on some weight so it's literally effortless and then you know i see her making these videos crying about all, all this like emotional stuff with like no this is the easiest thing on earth to do 
try to get the cleanest food you can. What I mean is, you know, like no corn syrup, no, none of the hormones, that sort of thing. But even if you don't, like you can still get it done eating greasy double cheeseburgers because the whole point is that you're just tricking your body into not wanting to eat. And of course, you're still gonna have to eat for a purpose. Like, uh, you know, you're gonna need a certain amount of protein every day. You're gonna need a certain amount of, you know, vegetables, you know, minerals, vitamins, whatever. And carbs, you don't really need. But you know, some people they might need them for some purpose. Like, um, like I know I eat some specifically because of, like the tendon problems that these medications have caused. Like, um, but. The whole point is that this is completely effortless. All you have to do is trick your body into not being hungry. You don't even feel like you're dieting. You're not, because you're not, you're not, you're not, you know, inhibiting yourself from having something you want because you trick your body into not wanting. So, to me, it was just a. I was like, you know what, I should probably make this video because she's, she's crying about, you know, her, her weight loss journey. I mean, like, no, this is the easiest thing on earth to do. Just, you know, watch, eat with the purpose. You have to eat specific things and just be conscious of it. And then it will be effortless. Pretty cheap too, actually. Like I mean, I've seen how much some of these diet fad things cost. I mean, it's ridiculous what they try to sell it for. But yeah, so that's why I just thought I'd put that video up on how to lose weight easily. Now, again, talk to your doctor before you do it, and you know, other people that might have some certain conditions they might have to keep in mind, or certain dietary needs that they need to keep in mind. But it is the easiest. Thing on earth to do like you literally do it sleeping too if, if, you, if you think of it that way so i don't know why she was getting so emotional about it but you know i guess it's because they don't know how to lose the weight and like i said she didn't look that fat so or she didn't look fat i mean jesus i gotta be careful about how i say things because she misinterprets it she doesn't look fat at least you know from like the few minutes of the video that i saw and like for her losing weight will be more difficult because you're not like obese than it would be for an obese person to take off like a hundred pounds you know all right like 80 or 70 pounds like in my case but the, the point is though the um it should be effortless and you know i, I like i was saying I, I made the i made this video put it up on youtube because uh, i guess she just didn't know how to lose the weight and then she gets so emotional about eating and dieting or whatnot like it's such a huge effort no there's no effort you, you're not even hungry you just trick your body into not eating and it's that simple and you know it's it's because of the misnomers people have to like that calorie thing calories in versus calories burnt no no it's wrong i mean i think you can even take a look at the stuff that i was um eating i think i was still consuming like 5,000 calories a day sometimes oh that's another thing too 